everybody, how's it going? Jeremy from Creature Caster here. We got Joe behind the camera. This is the first update we're doing for Creature Caster, for our website, for our Twitter fans, and for everybody checking out the Kickstarter campaign. We're here in North Vancouver at Hammer Time Hobbies, which my friend Mike owns. It's got a beautiful shop here, and this is gonna be a chance for us to see some of our Creature Caster models among some kind of popular scales that we're used to in gaming just to give you the fans an idea of exactly how big these models are. The models that we brought here to Hammer Time today are Balragoth, Arushni, and Gonadar. We have an assortment of some Games Workshop figures. We have an assortment of some Malifaux. We're just gonna kinda take you through some of the features of some of these models. These models aren't completely done. These are our prototype test prints. The final models are gonna be this exact size, but in these models you're gonna see a little bit of evidence of build artifacts, and it kind of supports that we have yet to clean up. Uh, Arushni is a bit of an exception because, as I said on a couple podcasts, I got super excited about her and I had to paint her. So, even though she looks very finished, very beautiful, it actually isn't the final model. The final model gets even better. So, as you can see, Gonadar, he's absolutely huge, but he still fits on this 50 by 50 base. That means you don't gotta put him on a big pie plate and have a big force field where models can't kind of interact with him. Models can come right up to him. In this case, uh, he's gonna get a, a spike in the gut. You know, you can see this guy comes into contact with this Marine. Uh, you know, he's just, <laughs> it just makes that, you know, poor Marine, he's not gonna do much damage there. When this model gets into combat with another unit, you're gonna feel like it's really in combat. With the Rushni, you can see she's very light and very slight, almost kind of insect-like but she has this solid rock on the bottom, which is solid resin cast, and that's where all the weight goes. So you can see that she's got a really long tipping point, which makes her very playable on a table. It just takes so much to knock her over. She can go right up to units, get right in close. So with Balragoth, we don't have him with his arms right now or with his weapon, but you can see he's really pretty huge. Now his wings are really quite thin, his base is really quite thick. So when he is finally casting solid resin, his weight will also push him right down into the table. You can fit a 50 by 50 base under here. You could easily put a 60, uh, a 60, uh, a si what is it, millimeter? Are we in millimeters? 60 millimeter base? 60, yeah. All this international business, I don't know. <laughs> it's an like Imperial one place. At Creature Caster, we want to give a special thanks to Mike at Hammer Time Hobbies here in North Vancouver. If you have any more questions about anything to do with these models, then feel free to put it in the forums, feel free to ask on Twitter, ask us on Facebook. I'm Jeremy, thanks for watching and take care.